and welcome to another episode from Thick Chick 33, Gaming Without Shame or Skill. As promised, this video will show our very first Horde Knight on the rebooted server. Uh, well, IMO Rain is a lot more paranoid than he needs to be. I kind of wanted to dig a bunker out in the middle of the desert and fight in, you know, melee combat like ninja warriors. But, uh, I mean, he has us digging trenches and lining them with concrete and setting up spikes and propellers that are going to chop the zombies into little bloody giblets. Like, we're talking major overkill for Night 7. <laughs> So given these uh, outrageous defenses, I don't really anticipate that we'll see a lot of action tonight. But in the meantime, I'm just trying to finish as much of this trench as I can before the Blood Moon. Okay, we'll get them fixed. We have some time. Got my wine, got my cheese balls, I think I'm ready to go.
All right, time to loot and repair. After every horde night, I'm always caught unawares by like a pack of dogs or a screamer or something. I don't want that to happen again. That seems to be a fairly common occurrence. Those spikes, you jerks. There's a conga line on the mountain. I knew they would come. I knew it. <laughs> Thought they could catch me unawares again, but no. I was ready. So although Rain clearly did not care that I was totally prepared for that post hoard conga line, I feel pretty darn awesome for not being caught off guard. <laughs> and that wraps up our first horde night. Like I said, not much melee action. Okay, well, actually no melee action, but I'm not going to complain about, you know, not dying. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, please drop a like on this video and subscribe for more from ThickChick33. Thanks for watching.